So, you're coming off championship at Whitney, uh, and you did pretty good at Oak Hill. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Um, Whitney was going really good. Um, the class I didn't win my championship in, I was really consistent. Both motos got two good starts. And then the, uh, my other class in 125A, I, uh, I didn't have good motos in either moto uh, of the two. In my first qualifier, I got a terrible start and worked my way up to sixth. I was pretty disappointed. And then the second moto, I got another dead last start. For some reason, I didn't know how to get off the start in that class. And uh, ended up getting knocked down first lap and was dead last and came up to maybe like 12th at the end of the race. And in five laps, if you get knocked down first lap, it's impossible to come back to the front with the pace that everybody's running in five laps there. What do you like better, Texas or California? I don't know if I really want to answer that. Uh, I don't. I don't know. The, the riding out in California that people what you get to ride with is 50 times better. The people that are out here to ride with every day, no matter what, there's always, you know, four, five, 10, 15 fast guys to the track. And in Texas, I mean, there's, there's fast guys, but the tracks are a million times better. Um, there's ruts, it gets rough, and um, I don't know. I, um, it's getting better out here. Competitive Edge is a pretty good track during the week, and um, I don't know. It's, Texas is definitely better, though, for riding. What's your favorite uh, amateur national? I love being at Loretta's, and I love the long motos, how it separates everybody, but I like Lake Whitney's track a lot better. What are your plans throughout the rest of the year? I know you're probably going to race Mammoth and Loretta's, and what are your plans for after Loretta's, and what do you do to prepare for the outdoors if you are going to ride outdoors? My regional is for Loretta's, and then go to Mammoth, and then Loretta's, and then uh, if I feel that I have enough speed, and hopefully maybe maybe getting a team offer, I don't know, maybe um, get like a tryout or something for the last couple outdoors, I'd like to do something like that, and um, go show what I have for, uh, for outdoors for the last two. And, I'm out here staying with my brother, of course, and um, getting ready for that. I mean, it's all about that. It's realistically, I mean, amateur nationals is what we train for right now, but in the end, it'll be for what every what he's doing for outdoors and supercross. So, at the last two nationals, who's winning? Um, well, we got a bet going right now, though. Um, if I can beat him fair and square in a moto, then I get the truck. So. Hopefully I can get him in at least one moto. It's not going to happen. This is my truck. You're not going to get it. It's not going to happen. I'll yard sale myself before you beat me. You're crashing's fair and square. At least I didn't go down without a fight. How do you think you'll do at Steel City and Glen Helen? I know a lot of the amateur kids, like when I came in, and like when Bill Apoto and all them came in last year, they did really good because, you know, a lot of a lot of the pro riders are burnt out at the end of the year, and the amateur kids come in fresh and just set a really good pace and do really good. I got a, I got top ten in a moto at Steel City, and I think I got like an eleventh overall. Do you think you'll beat it? Um, realistically, my goal to go in there is just to get two consistent motos and try and run the pace. I mean, it's going to be hard. Their pace is so much different than amateur racing that um, it's hard to go out there and then run their pace for a thirty plus two and. Uh, my goal really for that race would be to just be top 15 both motos consistently and try not to fall and not right over my head. And uh, I'm not going in there to win or anything. I just want to open some eyes and hopefully get two top 15 good motos. Do you think it's easier coming into, um, into the pros having watched Tommy and seen what he's gone through? Yeah, you get to learn from a lot of mistakes that we could have or would have made. Um, uh, it's definitely nice to see what he's done and to prove that what we did was right. And um, growing up with him and coming out here and riding with him like this is a big help for me. And um, I couldn't be more thankful for that. And uh, I don't know, it, it doesn't hurt at all riding with him and being around his team and just seeing how everything works. And um, it's, it's gonna be good. I, I really look forward to the last two this year.